Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and other handmade products. You can find videos on bar and liquid soaps, wax tablets and many other products. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell button so you don't miss out on any updates. Useful links and details are also provided in the description below. In this video, I am making a customized breast milk soap and I have decided to show you all how I make it. Breast milk contains many amino acids, vitamins and minerals which are great for the skin. Breast milk soaps are very popular in Asia as another way to use the extra breast milk for the babies. For this custom soap, I formulated the soap to be extra gentle using 70% olive oil to create a gentle and creamy leather, 25% olive oil for some gentle bubbles and 5% shea butter to add some more moisturizing properties to the soap because her kids have eczema problems. Other gentle and moisturizing oils you may choose may include sweet almond oil, avocado oil and other butters. It is important that you check for allergy history to make sure it is suitable for their skin. Once the oils have been melted, I left it on the side to cool down to room temperature. To make full use of the breast milk, I have substituted all the liquid content with breast milk. Similar to making other milk soaps, the breast milk has been freezed beforehand and now I am dissolving the lye into the iced breast milk. Having the milk as ice will slow down the temperature raise and prevent scorching of the milk, causing discoloration and bad scent. This is particularly important because I do not want to scorch her precious breast milk. So I'm adding the sodium hydroxide slowly, dissolving it bit by bit before I add more into the breast milk. This is a great way to add water substitutes into your soap, and I like to have bigger iced milk blocks or cubes so the milk will melt slower due to less surface area, helping to reduce the quick temperature rise as well. There are a few other ways you can include milk in your soaps, such as adding the milk into the oils before adding your lye solution or adding it at trays. You can go back to my video of how I've incorporated coconut milk and egg into soap by clicking on the i button on the top right hand corner. What are your experiences with making milk soaps? Which method is your favorite method to use? Please share your insights with me in the comments below. Using an ice bath is also a way to keep the temperature low and I did that towards the end where most of the milk has been dissolved, making sure I really don't scorch the milk. Once the milk and the oils are at a similar temperature, I added the lye solution into the oils and blended well. Since this soap has a high olive oil content, it took forever to trace. I have chosen to add some lavender and rose geranium essential oils hydrated in some yellow clay for this soap. Make sure you use essential oils that are safe for babies. I think in general, lavender essential oil is safe for all ages, but if you're really concerned about whether essential oils are safe, you can try diffusing the dried flowers into the oils to obtain the scent, which I've done with my dual light olive oil soap. It works well that way as well. I kept blending the soap until I get to a light to medium trace. I'm pouring the soap down into a spatula to make sure to break the fall, hoping to reduce any air bubbles. Tapping the mold down onto the table also helps to release any trapped air bubbles. I then covered and insulated the soap to put aside for a few days. 
It is best to be patient and wait for 2 to 3 days before unmolding the soap to make sure the soap has hardened well, because this soap has a high soft oil content. My soap unmolded beautifully. The soap has a beautiful creamy white color. Cutting the soap using my multi bar soap cutter. As you can see, my soap cutter needs some cleanup, as some of the previous soap has been cut up onto this batch. I love how creamy this batch has turned out. I really hope her kids will enjoy this soap and it can help with their skin. I really love how milk soap leathers. What is your favorite milk to use in cold processed soap? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.